oil tank. So a couple comments on oil tank. This is a building that has oil fired heat, meaning the boiler receives oil, in this case number two, which provides heat and hot water in this case to the building. So instead of gas, you have oil. That's fine, it's perfectly legal. Um, the city's gotten rid of number six oil that was very thick and had a high viscosity or resistance to flow, kind of sludgy. Number two and four are more environmentally responsible. This is a number two. So we know there's a tank in there. Problem is I can't view it. It's fire rated covered with uh, a CMU. Sometimes it's covered with concrete. Sometimes it's insulated. Sometimes it's left exposed and it's the room itself that's considered kind of a fire rated structure. In this case, I can't really see a lot of it. So I'm gonna ask the super, age, condition, issues, etc. I see my um, piping and I'm gonna look out front for two things, fill and vent. That's always gonna be at the front, fill and vent. I'm gonna look over here, try to get an idea of age and condition. And if I need to know signs, this is the petrometer. Okay, this tells you, this shows you how full it is. There's a, there's a medium in here, there's a liquid in here that shows you how full it is. And it'll also mark out how big the tank is. So if they don't know, or the paperwork's missing, or the super's out or something, this is a good little cheat to see how big is this oil tank. Most of them are gonna be steel or cast iron. Look at your EUL, it's usually about 30 years, and then you may wanna think about replacing. But if it's above grade, above ground rather, you're gonna see leaks better than if it's below ground. Uh, well, let's talk about age, condition, any issues, and if need be put it in for replacement. That's about it in the oil tank, and then the next thing we'll look at is the boiler room, to see how this supplies fuel for heating and hot water. Thanks for watching.